A dark past of Louisiana's history buried for more than 100 years is being brought back to light. Today in Thibodeau, ground was broken on a new museum. Sam Winstrom has the details. Archie Jones, quartermaster, Sergeant 78. 135 years ago, roughly 60 black men and women were killed in what is now known as the Thibodeau Massacre. Mahala Washington, Willie Wilson. Only eight names were read on the anniversary. The majority of them were lost to history after their bodies were buried in an unmarked mass grave. But through the descendants of survivors, their story lives on. I've been in Thibodeau my whole life and I never heard one word of this uttered in my school. It was only in when I heard it from elders, older people, they talked about a massacre. On November 23rd, 1887, a mob of white vigilantes gathered to break a month-long strike by sugar plantation field hands, many of them formerly enslaved. That mob gunned down the black workers, killing around 60 men and women and wounding several others. One of those survivors was Willetta Ferdinand's great-great-grandfather, Jack Conrad. He crawled under the house and pretended to be dead. So that's how he survived. But his son, who was 19, was killed. And his brother-in-law was also killed. Growing up in Louisiana, Ferdinand had no clue about her lineage. In fact, she'd never even heard about the massacre until she went to grad school in Washington, D.C. And you know, I grew up here with my grandmother coming here every summer. But my uncles knew, but they never said anything. And that's why opening a museum dedicated to that history is so important to her. This museum will be an eye-opener for not just Thibodeau, but I think for a lot of places like Thibodeau where there are hidden agendas against black people in history. That history will finally be told in Louisiana. Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News. That museum will be known as the Thibodeau Veterans Museum in honor of the many Civil War veterans who were killed in the Thibodeau Massacre and those who served after them.